Hey, what's up, guys? It's Ray's back with a YouTube video on the channel. So, today I'm going to be showing guys how to fix lag, FPS drops, and all the stuttering issues you're having with Fortnite because the new season dropped just today, uh, season 5. It's going to be fun, but yeah, uh, you know, when a new season drops, there's tons of lags, there's tons of FPS drops, and there's tons of performance issues. And I found all the ways to fix them, and it really fixed it. I, I'm getting constant FPS, I'm getting good FPS, I'm not getting any stutters or anything like that. So, yeah, I hope it will help you guys as well. So, yeah, like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on, and comment down below what you want next. And, yeah, I guess let's just get straight into the video. Alright, guys, so before going into anything, I'm just going to show you guys my Fortnite settings and what to do for the best FPS. Just going over your settings. And then once you're here, um, just don't care about display, just set it to your normal native resolution, uh, set it to full screen, and cap your FPS if you want, uh, less FPS drops, but yeah, you can set it to unlimited, it doesn't matter. Gra graphics, you can just make it whatever you want, and the graphics quality makes sure everything is low. But alright, so advanced graphics, now this is the most important part. So VSync, it should be off, motion blur, please turn it off. Show FPS, uh, you can do whatever you want. Alright, so this is the most important setting now, a DirectX version. Now, I tried both versions and the best for me was DirectX 12. Now, I recommend you guys set it to DirectX 12 as well as it's really good. It gives you better FPS and better consistent FPS. And DirectX 11 is still good FPS, but it's not like DirectX 12. And DirectX 12 is way more consistent. And DirectX 11 just has lots of stutters and, you know, frame drops and stuff. So I really recommend you guys try DirectX 12. If it's trash for you, set it back to 11. But yeah, for me, DirectX 12 is the best. And I think it will be for you as well. So yeah. And if you have this option, just turn it on. Uh, don't care about this. Uh, low latency, turn it on if you want. But yeah it will uh, reduce your fps so if you want the best possible fps don't turn it on all right now let's move over to the other steps all right guys so the next step is to make sure that you have the latest uh, cpu and gpu drivers now if you are using an nvidia gpu just download geforce now i've already downloaded it so once you don't do that just search up geforce now and then open it if you have a amd graphics card i can't help you because i don't have one but you can search on youtube how to update your amd graphics card it's really easy so you can do that so once you're here in geforce experience go over to drivers and then click on check for updates now once you click on check for updates it will say you have the latest game driver so for you you might get an update uh for me i've already uh, updated to the latest one but if you have an update please update it as it will give you the best performance as it's the latest graphic card version and the game will be way better and yeah once you update your drivers just head over to your settings once you're here please turn on in-game overlay as it improves the performance and it also helps you to take videos screenshots and every other kind of stuff easily and it doesn't really hurt performance as much so you can you also use uh, in-game overlay to record your videos your you know instant replays or something whatever it is and yeah let's get on to the next step all right guys so in this step i'm going to be teaching guys how to make your uh, computer use more power for better performance because your your computer might be using less power to save power but if you want the best fps you, you want your computer to use a lot of power not a lot but it's still gonna use a bit more power than it used to so what do you have to do is search up edit power Plan. Now press enter. Once you're here, uh, click over to power options, and then you will see balanced and high performance. It's I have ultimate performance, but it's still this, uh, just the higher performance option. It's just the name changed, but yeah. If you're unbalanced, please set it to high performance. All right. So once that's done, just close the window. All right, guys. So in this step, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make your graphics card uh, give the most priority to Fortnite. So when you're running the game, uh, it will be smooth, and your graphics card will just focus on Fortnite and nothing else. So how do you do it? You may ask. Well, what you have to do is just search up, uh, just go in your search bar and type in graphics settings. Now, once you do that, uh, click click over to browse. So once you click that, just go over where you can install the game. I installed it in my C drive. So once that's done, just go over to Fortnite, then go to Fortnite game, then go to binaries, then go to Win64. Once that's done, you'll see all these things. Now, what you have to do is just click on Fortnite client Win64 shipping. Now, once that's done, just click on it, click on add, and you have added. And you have added it. Now, what you have to do is go over and click on options, and then click on high performance, and then save. I've already done it, so I'm going to remove it, but yeah, you should do it, and it will really help you. 
performance. All right, guys. So in this step, I'm gonna be teaching guys how to uh, how to turn off background apps. So you can need to stop background apps running, and which you know takes all the performance and stuff. So yeah. So what you have to do is just uh, go over to your search bar and again go to settings. Once you're here, uh, go over to privacy. Once you're there, scroll down till you find background apps. Now turn all of them off. They're just trash Microsoft apps which you don't need. They're all trash. Don't turn it on. And yeah, just turn all the background apps off. Once that's done, um, you can find notifications, I think, yeah. So once once you are here, uh, just turn notifications off too. All right, guys, so this step is only for NVIDIA graphics card users. So if you have NVIDIA graphics card, you can follow the steps. So what you have to do is just go over to your desktop and just right click and go over to your NVIDIA control panel. Now, if you haven't un installed NVIDIA control panel, please install it. Uh, I'm not gonna go over how to, but yeah, just install it and then open it. Once that's done, you'll see this. Now, what you have to do is just go over to manage 3D settings. Now, once you're here, copy all my settings. So image uh, sharpening, just turn it off, and all this stuff. Just turn all of these uh, image settings off. So just copy all my settings. They're all the best settings, and the, one of the most important settings is uh, power management mode. Now just set it to prefer maximum performance. Once that's done, also change the prefer refresh rate to the max you can do. So just change it to the highest available. Once that's done, just follow, uh, just copy all my settings, I guess. So yeah. Also texture filtering quality, turn it to high performance. You don't want better quality. More FPS is better than better quality. So yeah. All right, guys. So just copy all my settings. I'm, I'm again gonna go over it, and yeah. So just copy it, and you'll be good to go. All right, guys. So the next step is to install C Cleaner. Now, if you don't have C Cleaner, then please install it. Just switch it up, install it, and yeah, just install it. Once that's done, what you have to do is just go in your search bar and then type in C Cleaner. Just type it in click on open and then so now once it's open uh just click on no if it asks you for updates and just click on next click on next click on next click on next and then click on start health check now once that's done it will say this just click on close if it asks you to close any apps once that's done it will check your pc and it will help you free space uh remove all the trackers and stuff so your pc will be clean your pc will be you know just fine and everything so i have i can clear 5.7 gigabytes of space i can remove 3700 trackers and stuff so just click on make it better and it will patch up your pc clean all those chunk files and give you more space and better uh, performance so once that's done go over to your registry thing and then click on scan for issues now wait for it to scan for all the issues and it, it might take some time but it doesn't for me but yeah once you scan for issues click on fix selected issues and if you want to back up the registry before making the changes you can do that but i've never had a problem with it so i'm not just so i'm just going to click on no and once that's done i'm just going to click on fix issue and it's going to fix i mean and just click on fix all selected issues and it's going to fix all the selected issues so once that's done, just click on close and then close it. Alright guys, so hope this video helped you. If it did, please click on the subscribe button and turn on notifications as that will clearly help me out. Also comment what you want next and I'll see you guys in my next video.